Now that we've identified the unwanted behavior, the resident's combativeness when dressing for bedtime, let's apply the five whys to see if we can determine the root cause of this behavior. Why question number one. Why is the resident's behavior problematic? Answer. The resident's behavior is problematic or unwanted because the combativeness puts the resident and the staff at risk of physical injury. In addition, the anticipation of having to struggle with the resident to provide bedtime care causes anxiety and stress among the care staff, which can impact caregiver burnout and low morale. In addition to the safety risk, the behavior may also be considered problematic because it impedes the resident from transitioning to bedtime and getting enough sleep for a healthy rest period. The behavior may also be considered problematic because when the resident becomes verbally and physically combative, it is upsetting to his roommate who resides in the same room. Why question number two? Why does the resident refuse to get ready for bed? Answer. Given the facts discussed thus far from this case scenario, all we know at this point is that the resident refuses to get ready for bed because there is something about getting into his pajamas that upsets him. Why question number three? Why does getting into pajamas upset him? This is the why that really counts. Does he not want to go to bed? Not really. He takes afternoon naps in his bed and he likes his room and roommate. Does he prefer to sleep in the nude? Not particularly. He has no other behavior that indicates he doesn't like to be dressed. Is he too hot or too cold? Well, the staff has tried thin pajamas, warm pajamas, drawstring pajamas, pull-up pajamas, short sleeve pajamas, and none seem to make a difference. Does he feel babied? Does he want to try to put the pajamas on himself? Unfortunately, this is not practical. This resident needs cueing for all ADLs. He presents no combative behaviors when getting dressed in the morning or when staff assists him with other ADLs. He only exhibits combative behavior in the evening when staff try to assist with changing into his pajamas. Does he just hate pajamas? Well, maybe, but what else is there? Ah, why does he hate pajamas? Here's the answer in this scenario. The resident doesn't like putting on the pajamas the staff are assisting him with because he used to sleep in just a nightshirt. Well, you might say, how could we know this? Who would know this? Well, his wife might have known it, but she passed away last year. He has no children to tell us his likes and dislikes, and he is unable to tell us himself due to the confusion caused by dementia. However, when the resident's wife moved him into the facility two years ago, she brought him in a few nightshirts with his belongings. They've all worn out and now his well-meaning nieces send him some pajamas. To ascertain this, the staff had to pull out his original inventory sheet documenting belongings at the time of admission. Sure enough, three nightshirts were listed. The staff asked his nieces to send him some nightshirts, and once they did, the resident's combative behavior went away.